In this series, we're going to be learning web design. And by this, I mean we're going to be learning things like HTML, CSS. We're going to be learning um, about all of the things really that you need to then go on and actually start to build websites. So because we're going to be looking at things other than just HTML and CSS, and if you don't know what HTML is and you don't know what CSS is, don't worry, we're going to be covering that in the next video. Now, we're also going to be looking at um, things like development tools. We're going to be looking at um, typography. We're going to be looking at a grid system. Uh, and then at the end of the, the series, we're going to look at how to build a just an example website, just a portfolio website. But along the way in the series, we'll be building little useful things. And by by doing this, we're going to be able to sort of build up a knowledge of CSS and HTML and how they work together. Um, so we're not going to go too much into the boring theory. We're going to be a lot more practical here. And then at the very end of the series, we're going to look at resources for developers. So uh, where you go to find out things, to find out new elements, new um, um, whether something requires vendor prefixes, which we're also going to cover in the series, and uh, also just where to go and learn more about the elements that you're using, because the web on the front end is uh, ever-changing, as is the back end and things like JavaScript, um, which we're obviously not going to cover in this series, but um, we'll be focusing on HTML, CSS, and we'll give a very brief look at elements just so because they change so often uh, you don't get caught up in uh, taking my advice too literally and you can go away and look for yourself at how things have changed so that's what we're going to be covering we're going to be looking at like i said what html and css is in the next part we're going to look at creating html files we're going to look at basic document layout so what a doc type is and what different elements of a document look like and then we're going to look at how we can actually preview them in the browser and um, linking in style sheets that we can then actually style our page with. So HTML and CSS are completely separate technologies. Um, but yeah, then we'll just uh, slowly get into it and start to build up some cool examples. So that's the introduction to this series. Let's go ahead and look at what HTML and CSS is.